Hey, what's up? This is Jack Spot from Windows Phone Hacker. So today, the Dark Forces team released their mag loader for Samsung first-generation devices. Uh, and so I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to install that and their new full unlocked ROMs for your Samsung device. Uh, this is actually really cool because so far only HTC has had the ability to have full unlocked devices. And so basically this will allow you to run uh, native applications, custom cabs, etc. on your device uh, as opposed to interop unlock which was the highest level of unlock available prior to custom ROMs uh, that which only allowed running um, you know, basically uh, Silverlight applications that had access to native code such as registry editors and stuff. Um, do keep in mind there are some risks associated with this. Read the disclaimer and all that pretty carefully. Uh, if your goal is to sideload applications, this is probably a little extreme for that. But if you want full freedom on your device, then this is actually pretty cool. So I suggest you uh, try it out if that's, if that's what you want to do. So the first step is to get the, uh, is to download the stuff. So you'll need to go over to XDA Developers and head over to this thread. I'll, not, I'll have a link to this. And uh, you'll have to download the DFT Sammy Rainbow.zip file. And, uh, and then you'll have to choose the ROM for your device. I'm using a Samsung Focus 1.3. If you have a 1.4 or an Omnia 7, uh, then of course download the appropriate ROM for your device. And so and then you'll just head over and download that as well. And uh, the, the actual, the mag loader is the first step of it that you install and then you flash the ROM onto that. So the mag loader is pretty small and then the, the actual download for the ROM is about 360 megs. So just keep that in mind. And then you'll also need the Samsung drivers. Uh, these are floating around pretty much everywhere on the internet. Um, if you just Google it, you can probably find it. Uh, I might also post a link to that in the description if people can't find it. But, I mean, if you literally Google Samsung USB driver for mobile, then, you know, you can download it from about a million file sharing sites. And it, it's completely legitimate, so, you know, it's not like you're pirating it or anything. Okay, and then from that, once you get them downloaded, you, uh, of course, extract the, extract the zip files and uh, go ahead and open up the, uh, the exe here that will install. This is the mag loader installer. And what this does is it installs uh, MagLDR or MagLoader that basically allows you to flash the custom ROM onto your device. Uh, so you might want to read through this. It has some important information as to what you're going to do, what the risks are, and then has some thanks to the people and all that stuff. Um, and then from there, you'll have to grab your mobile phone and put it into download mode. All right, so on your device, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it off and uh, let it power down and once it powers down you want to hold down the volume up button the camera button and then press power and it'll say download mode and then you can go ahead and hook it up to your computer and assuming you have the drivers installed everything should uh, load up and make sure everything's loaded before you uh, proceed with installing mm -hmm. MagLoader all right, and then once your phone is in download mode uh, and you have the drivers installed, everything's working, then go ahead and click Next. And uh, this should try to detect the USB connection. And uh, this is probably an important step. You have to choose your device, and if you choose the wrong one, it says it will it may totally brick your phone without the ability to restore. So um, I'm going to choose a Samsung Focus. If you don't have a Samsung Focus, don't click it. And it says installation in progress. And we'll see what's going on over here on the phone. And in just a couple of seconds, it says that the inst installation completed successfully, and your phone will reboot and will have MagLDR installed. All right, now that MagLoader is installed, you probably won't really notice it. But to boot into it, which we need to to flash the ROM, we'll go ahead and turn off the device, and disconnect from the computer so it doesn't boot itself back up. And then we want to hold down volume down, camera, and power. And it will say, are you sure you want to format? We want to press back, and that loads up ATO uh, MagLDR and it says wet USB right there. 
So now that the device has mag loader installed and is uh, on white USB mode because we loaded up mag LDR, we're going to go ahead and flash the custom ROM. Uh, this is the full unlocked ROM that they released. I'm sure other custom ROMs will come and if you want to replace uh, this step with a different custom ROM just make sure it's the right one for your device. Let's go ahead and click next. This is for the Samsung Focus. Just double check that and it has all the information about it. Go ahead and click next. And it says we need Active Sync slash Windows Mobile Device Center on my PC. Uh, I have that installed, so that should be okay. And it says we have to load up mag loader mode. And so we'll just see what happens. And it wants me to connect it to my phone. So I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll see what happens. And right now it is de installing the mag loader device driver. All right, so it has an error right here. I suppose I just need to wait for the drivers to install and then I'll try that again. So that if that happens to you, you know, just, you know, try it again, but hopefully that should work okay. Uh, if that continues to happen, you might want to reboot your computer, but you know, I'll, I'll tell you how it works out for me. All right, so now we've got the USB sync drivers installed and uh, we have a little command okay on the, uh, on the device screen. So we'll go ahead and close this out and try installing the ROM again now that, every, uh, now that all the drivers are synced up and connected. And here it says installation in progress and we've got a little progress bar over on the device. And so hopefully this should just work as planned. Alright, so skipping ahead a little bit, the installation says it's completed successfully. And on the phone, we're getting sort of the recovery kind of logo thing going on. Uh, it might pop up in a minute. And this is because we have to clear the storage uh, before the ROM will actually boot. Uh, so to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the power on the device. And... Uh, We'll hold down volume down, camera, and power again. And I'll just press the start button to format it. Yes, I want to do that. And it says it's done. All right, so here we have mag loader and the custom ROM installed on the device. Uh, do take note that when you first install it and clear the storage, the Samsung logo will stay on the screen for a very long time. Your phone is not bricked, it's just, you know, doing its first setup kind of stuff. Uh, but here we have it booting up. And here we are on the welcome screen. So that's how to install MagLoader and a full unlocked or custom ROM on your Samsung first generation device. Hopefully this worked for you. If you have any comments, let us know. And otherwise, have a great night.